Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Troubleshooting the Windows Operating System, Part 2. Today we're going to talk about symptoms, causes of those symptoms, and tools to troubleshoot and repair your Windows Operating System. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. Let's begin this discussion with symptoms, causes, and tools. The first symptom we're going to talk about is your PC boots automatically into safe mode. The usual cause for this is a misconfiguration to the startup process and or possible malware infection. To check to see if it's a configuration issue, use msconfig to check the startup configuration. And if that's not the problem, then you need to work with your antivirus software and run it in safe mode so that it can remove the malware. Now if a file fails to open, well the usual causes include an unknown file extension or you're missing the appropriate application for the file to open or the file association has been modified. Tools to resolve this include using the default programs applet in the control panel and the command prompt to determine what file types are associated with application. The command to do that is ASSOC space pipe more. Now sometimes when you boot, you might get a message that says missing NTLDR, missing NT loader. This one can be frustrating. Causes include trying to boot from a non-bootable disk. Your BIOS settings may be incorrect. You may have a corrupted boot sector or a corrupted MVR, or your NT loader file is missing or corrupted. Tools to troubleshoot and resolve this include your BIOS settings page to ensure that the boot order is proper. Uh, the command prompt, from there you run either fix boot or boot rec with the fix boot option to repair the boot sector, or you run fix MVR or boot rec with the fix MBR option to repair the MBR. And you may need to manually copy a new NT loader file. And I've included the commands here for you. Related to the missing NT loader error message is the missing boot any message. This only occurs in XP, by the way. The symptom is, is that the PC will not boot and you get this message. The causes are the same as the NT loader, only they involve the boot any file. The tools to fix it are the same as the NT loader, and you can rebuild the boot any file with the boot CFG rebuild command. Now your PC may fail to boot and you'll get a missing operating system message, a missing graphical interface, invalid boot disk, boot MGR not found, boot MGR is missing. Any of those messages all kind of point towards the same thing. All of these involve the fact that your graphical user interface isn't loading. Now the causes for this can be the wrong boot order in the BIOS or a problem with the boot sector or MBR. Tools to fix it include the BIOS settings page, the fix boot or boot rec with fix boot command, the fix MBR or boot rec with fix MBR command. Finally, you might need to run the boot rec with rebuild BCD command. That's the boot configuration data file. Those are in Windows Vista and newer operating system and the BCD holds the boot parameters for window and informs the PC how to load the operating system. Now let's talk about some additional tools for troubleshooting your Windows operating system. The first one that we're going to talk about is the Recovery Console, or in newer versions, the Recovery Environment. It's available from the Advanced Boot Options page. To get there, you hold down F8 during the startup process. This provides additional tools to the user for troubleshooting and repairing a PC. You can also use emergency repair disks. These are bootable media that holds a basic operating system that allows access to tools for troubleshooting and repairing systems that will not boot to their own operating system. 
You may also use RegEdit. This is a registry editor for Windows operating system. It can be used to modify or create registry entries. Caution must be used here as a mistake can cause more issues than it resolves. And finally, Windows Vista and newer operating system provide a tool called Startup Repair. This is an option from the System's Recovery option menu that when run can diagnose and automatically repair many boot sector and MBR issues without any intervention of the user. Now that concludes this session on troubleshooting Windows Operating System Part 2. We talked about symptoms, causes of those symptoms, some tools that you can use to resolve those problems, and then some additional tools that are available for you to troubleshoot and repair your Windows operating system. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and we'll do it again soon.